Welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Bad Names. Today's video, we're back playing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I think we're still making our way back out of Kashyyyk right now to get on our way to wherever else we're going. Let's see. Let's see. How do I pull up the thing? It's M for map, right? Yep. No. We saw on the roof. Okay. So I want to go across that way then. Let's see, I, for some reason, I thought we made our way all the way through Kashyyyk and I just ended the. No, we just got the power turn back on. We got kicked off of Kashyyyk or picked up off of Kashyyyk. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, don't kill him. Damn, I'm trying to keep him alive, but <laughs> those two Wookiees kind of couldn't take a hit for real. Okay. I hope that dude doesn't die because I no, he's probably gonna die to be honest. Didn't get that ability yet. I'm trying to push them all off at the uh, at once, but it looks like this is a semi boss fight. Okay, I was trying to do the, the swing overhead, but actually it's what would they call force abilities in this game because the dash is a force ability. That makes sense the way he moves at least. But the fact that, oh shit. The fact that the heavy hits are also force abilities is interesting. Oh no, I should not have ran into these. Okay. Oh, he's dead. To be honest, though, the walkers aren't terrible. Even in uh, like the harder game modes, walkers are just kind of pretty straightforward. Get underneath them, swing at their feet, dodge the little bombs that they drop, step away, get close, and do it again. Under Kashyyyk. These stories are playing out all over the galaxy. My partisans could use a Jedi on our side. I'm honored. But we have our own mission I can't walk away from. Not yet. The offer stands. Keep it in mind. Cal, I'm Mari Kosan. And this is Commander Choisek. Uh, sorry, I'm not quite fluent. Choisek says he'll do whatever he can to find Tarful and vouch for you. Do you think he's still alive? Have faith, Cal. We'll be in touch with your ship for the cause. All right, they gave Madman Saw like an Optimus Prime ass speech. Um, so let's see. Where do I need to go now, though? Let's see. Because I thought I would just have to run through this door, but it's not even open yet. Hello? Hello? Someone? Can I talk to Saw again? 
We did it. By the skin of our teeth. It'll be harder without your help. I know. But I can't abandon my mission. I understand. I got intel that may help you. A few rotations ago, my people searched an abandoned Wookiee village nearby. No sign of Tarful, but we did find out the safest route to the Shadowlands is through this refinery. We built an escape plan if this didn't work out. You'll catch on fast. When you're ready to find Tarful, that's the way to go. Okay, can we, uh, you know, leave? Do I gotta talk to these dudes? You know Tarful? <laughs> he was part of Tarful's crew, but got captured on a mission. Tarful couldn't risk more warriors to save him. He spent months in that refinery. Choisik will help you find Tarful. They're always on the move. Could take some time. And that's all I can ask. Thank you. I mean, it'd be nice if they started getting these restriction belts off of everybody's necks, too. Um, it says I'm supposed to go this way and that it's available, but, you know. Oh, fuck. Okay. I mean, he's here. exhausted down in the corner, too. Look at him. Makes sense, though. Okay, let's see where we're supposed to get to now. I do believe it's just a straight shot out, if I'm not mistaken. I've been monitoring Imperial communications, and I picked up something. Project Augur has been reactivated. The Empire may be close to finding another Zeppo tomb. Looks like we still have work to do. Did we already make it across or something? Oops. Now, I don't know what Proge Project Augur is, because, I mean, I know every, uh... Every... I don't I don't know why they keep having these like one on one conversations with the droid since we can't even understand the droid. But Project Augur is similar to like Project Cinder from Battlefront 2. It's always interesting how the Empire has some sort of project or a scheme to essentially just destroy the universe going on or not even universe. Let's just say galaxy because you know Star Wars is a, is supposedly taking place in one galaxy, but I feel like they'd be able to hit other ones. Maybe like with years in hyperspace travel, they could, but who knows? Oh, fuck. There's an eyelash stuck in my eye. Okay, let's get it. Um, Where are we headed to now, though? Because I know we're headed off-world. Where to next? Is it back to Zepho again? Yep. It's also kind of weird that they call the race of Zepho, the Zepho, instead of like... Zephoin or some other name because you know they don't say they don't call the Wookiees for example they don't call Wookiees Kashyyykin they're Wookiees their race is different from the planet which makes sense in this universe where the planet that you're born on doesn't necessarily define you like they didn't call the clothes Kaminoan or Kamoan or whatever you would call it but still it's more it makes more sense to give them a separate name understanding that we don't really know who the Zepho are we just know what their home planet is but you can still give them some sort of name until you find out more about them. Let's see. I know I got a bunch of new, uh, why am I not dressed in the, I know I dressed myself last time, so. I don't know why that didn't save. And I might have just gone through that last episode undressed too, which is weird, but okay. Let me go check out my lightsaber stuff too, because I know I picked up a lot of, uh, nice secrets, but. A dollar modifications, but I don't think I actually stopped to check them out either. I wish I would highlight which ones you got as uh, special or new or something. Don't those are three other normal ones? I kind of like the way this one's looking. I want to look at the other ones first though too. I don't like that one as much. But I think it's because of the uh, the switch more than anything. I like the switch I got with that um, emitter. And what is this? The sleeve? It's the sleeve on me. I kind of like this one. It feels shiny. Don't like that. Uh, now, so I have to change the switch. I kind of like what I'm rocking with right now. Because it's like silvery, shiny. I like those colors. And then I don't want to use green or blue because those seem kind of tacky, I guess. Or like just too basic. Right, let's get back to the ship and get our landing going on on Zepho again. I realized too that I name a lot of my episodes around the Zepho. 
uh, like the tomb, the journey, discovery, beginning, stuff like that. So maybe I want to try and move away from that naming convention, but that's pretty much what's happening in each episode. So let's see where this one's going to take us. Cause it's probably going to be the Zephyr something. Yeah, that was just a land. I thought it was gonna give us a full cutscene. Story of the Zephyr too. That was another one. There's a long journey ahead of us. These ancient tombs didn't survive all this time because they were easy to find. It's a challenge I'm willing to take. I can see that. I'm glad you believe in what we're trying to accomplish. Explore the Imperial excavation near the crash. I wasn't sure at first. I don't blame you. We were alone on Raka a long time probably expecting Jedi from the High Council. But instead, you got us. And you got me. We're in this together. Yes, we are. I don't know where that extra stim pack is. I thought it was going to be somewhere on Zepho, and I kind of want to run back through and look for it real quick, too. So let me see if I can find that first before I head to where we're actually supposed to be, because that third one's going to be pretty useful. That was weird. I just can't hit him. Yeah, this thing just started floating in the air out of nowhere. Can't beat us. Yes, sir. All right, cool. Got it. Don't really care whatever the fuck else happens in this gameplay now. I've seen what I wanted to see the slow mo stab down. Just because it's so brutal, in my opinion. Let's see. I thought it was back in here where that extra one was. I know it's in like an area that looks like this with a lot of what. Okay, so now we made it back under, or at least we made it back to the way to get back under. We can't use this elevator because I know we didn't send it back up in the last episode, but we are continuing. Ooh, I missed this last time. Now I can't remember what we're actually supposed to be doing down here. Continue excavating. I want rare artifacts, not useless tweets. Sounds like someone just gave her a piece of pottery and she shattered that shit. Which is interesting. For a, a group looking for artifacts, you would think you would take and check every single thing you find because you're looking for anything you can get. Rather than taking things that you think are going to be rare because you have no control over, or not even no control, but you have no knowledge over what is and isn't rare in this, um in this like in this faction that you're trying to study i say faction uh of the artifacts you're trying to study all right let's get this going again so we can actually use it to go up and down instead of having to do that whole movement sequence again and then keep going on our way because where are we trying to go down here and we gotta hit that elevator yeah i think we're gonna have to hit that elevator next I think that's where it's going to lead us. That's going to lead us to the next place. Okay. For some reason, well, let me take that back down. Let's see what uh, abilities I can get real quick, actually, because I know I have two force points or force abilities, which usually lets you hold slow. It allows you to call blah blah whole push allows you to push groups of enemies and stagger large enemies okay cool i actually want this one because that's what i was trying to do earlier in the episode and cal has an additional life when using a stem canister from bd1 or increase max health we'll take that one okay and for now let's get back into it I don't know if I need to go forward and down into the tombs again or back through the excavation site, but it says to make our way through the excavation site. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Only issue is that it's not letting me take this elevator back down right now. Although I thought what I just did is supposed to allow it to move again, rather than it being locked out to only one direction. I think you'd be able to take an elevator up and down, but it is an Imperial elevator. So it's probably just a piece of shit.
I mean, the only thing at this point that can be an issue is after running off the walls is grabbing this rope, which is like the worst part of the game for me almost always. First of the momentum's usually off for me, so I won't be able to actually make the jump on first swing and that's like swing back and forth. Then two is whether or not I actually grab the fucking rope because that also messes up for me a lot of times. It's only been, it's already been 25 minutes. Damn. No, never mind. I was running around for a while. I'm gonna go for a little while longer. Okay, let's see where we're supposed to actually end up at. I feel like we're supposed to take that elevator over in the distance. Slice, backstab, <laughs> whore. I think I skipped going in here too, actually, because I know there's a uh, a secret back here. Yep. Gonna get this one. That was quite a bit of experience too. An imperial officer was trying to hide a relic down here. It was a cave-in. She became trapped and never escaped. Okay, so I'm looking to go into that elevator over there, actually. Okay. I know I took this way last time, like the first time I played through before I lost the footage. Yeah, bitch. I got the skills now. If I remember to actually use the, you know, stagger instead of mashing button swing, then I'll be able to get these kills more consistently, more smoothly, because that stab forward breaks all of their guard and actually damages them immediately. Okay. Let's see what this elevator leads. See if this is going to lead to where we actually need to be. Because otherwise, I actually don't think I know how to get there. But it is in this direction, and this elevator is placed in the same direction, at least. Uh, explore Imperial excavations near crashed Zenitor. And everywhere else I've been, it looks like. I mean, there's some areas down in the mines that are in the um, in the tomb itself that I might not have visited, but I feel like this is the right direction to go. So let's see what happens if we go this way. Otherwise, we know how to get back to the tomb to check that out instead. This is all brand new, I think. Excavation equipment. Place to take a little rest. Just doing this to set a waypoint. I actually don't want to um, respawn all the enemies just yet. Go ahead, down. Your magic, BD. And let's see what this is too. Another cave in it looks like. He was killed by a cave in. Yup. Imperial excavation is making these tunnels unstable. Something smells like old oil. Hmm. Sorry, buddy, not you. It's this water. Okay, so this is apparently old oil, so that crash site must be down here somewhere. Interesting too, they're trying to find specific artifacts, but they keep just like wrecking shit to get in. Flooded suddenly. What could have caused such a thing? Yeah, they're wrecking shit, so now it's they're collapsing and flooding in on each on themselves. And it looks like they're actually trying to keep stuff up like standing, but not well enough for it to actually matter. We're back at the crash site again. The villagers built this memorial to the clones and the venator. If only they knew the truth. Yep. This must have been built around the time that the war uh the clone wars actually ended. When they switch to the separatist side, creating the imp. I can't go underwater, can I? No, I can't go underwater. Can't. Yeah, can't go underwater. That bitch look kind of big. Why you look bigger than the rest of them? Ooh, we can't block that one. Hey, Video call. You busy? Well, I was trying to watch the, you know, the. No, I'm not busy. Never busy. So, uh, you need something? I'm standing next to two crashed ships. Looks like you weren't the only pilot who had trouble with the wind here. 
Whoa, 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 you're just realizing that? Where have you been? I mean, it doesn't get better than me. Yeah, okay. All I wanted to say was thanks. Uh, you know, you're, uh, you're, you're welcome, kid. But uh, I, you know, I gotta go. I, I gotta think, so gotta see ya. Either he's watching porn or he's watching the game. I don't know which, but either way, he sounded a little too preoccupied for me. Um, all right, let's check out this one because we're already right here. Probe droid, they're watching us, BD. Hmm, chose the wrong time to do that. Okay, it's dead now. All right, let's keep going. I don't know if I'm able to jump clean across this or not, or how I'm supposed to get across this stuff. Oh, never mind. Damn. Okay, at least it pushed me back where I can. Okay, so they usually get closer and blow up on us. I don't know if we've seen them yet or not, because I can't remember. These ones, you really have to just wait for them to shoot you. Can't really do much against them otherwise, because. Oh, yeah, I should probably scan them. Nice job. Okay, well, now we got to fight too. Feels like there's a there's a fuck. There we go. It feels like there's always a time limit on when we can uh parry and attack again, which is annoying when you're fighting against multiple um fighting multiple enemies at once. But usually it works itself out, so it's not really that big of a deal. Where am I supposed to go from here? Oh, okay. I thought I was supposed to like run up that wall a little bit. Oh. Okay, well they got attacked by somebody. Commander was killed by a lightsaber. Good work, BD. I don't remember going this way actually. I'm kind of confused. I think that lets you go back and forth again. All right, BD also has a little bit of a cooldown on stuff. I wasn't able to like start and stop that immediately. Got an area down that way. Area straight back here. There's an elevator in here. Let's see if it actually functions. Theoretically, it shouldn't because we're in a crashed ship that's just sitting out in the wild. So not only is nature think we're getting close. taking its toll, but it's also already broken earlier. once it got here. Feeling in the pit of my stomach. At first, I thought it was Grease's cooking. Damn. Now it's getting even stronger. I think the closer we are, the worse I feel. It can't mean anything good. All right, let's see what we can get to in here now. If this is a save beacon. I might actually stop the video here and start the next one. Yeah, yeah, I will be. All right, well. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I think I forgot to say like and subscribe up at the beginning, but you know, you already know what to do at this point. So thanks for watching uh, and I'll see you next time.